So, Professor J. Will, the question is, how does Steph do it? Maria Wardell is the hardest player to guard in the NBA. You know why? It's perpetual motion. In order to defend him, you have to be aware of where he is all the time, a full length of the court, 94 feet, 24 seconds. The entire 24 seconds. Let me show you why. Let's look at the first place coming up against the Lakers. I love the way the Lakers defend this defensively. Here he goes off the first one. You're going to see a little bump action here. Kuzma gets out, he forces Wardell to pop out this way, and you see KCP, which I love, gets over the top of the screen. Classic textbook how you defend a pick and roll. I love it, great. Give us the ball up once again. Now, AD, look how far AD is playing up. AD's playing this far up, right? Trying to block the fact he doesn't want Steph to come off this shoot. I like KCP once again, coming over the top of this, chasing Wardell, chasing him, staying attached to that hip the whole time. He chases. Now, the ball gets passed, here's where it gets good. Okay, now, Mark Jackson talks about this all the time. He says, hand down, man down, right? If you look at the way he's being defended right here, hands are down, allows him to see over the top. Look at KCP's face, right? He's singing, is there another screen coming from this way? Watch how Steph moves without the ball. Boom, backdoor cut. Goal tendon, right? Think he's gonna flank out to shoot a three, backdoor cut. Just love the way he moves without the ball, perpetual motion. Once again, the ball's coming up the court. They get into the set. Look at Dylan Brooks. He fights over the top of the screen. I like it. Beats over the top. Now, this is where it gets good. You're going to see a back screen by Wardell, okay? Here it comes a back screen right here. Dylan Brooks is guarding him. Dylan Brooks does not switch. I like it. Stay home, Dylan Brooks. You know why? He's not going to beat you. You don't switch. Okay, you don't switch. Now, if you don't switch again, you have two options here. Because here comes another down screen by their player here on Dylan Brooks. Two options. Option one, you can chase. That's what they teach you, right, Jay? Jay Rose, you chase. You always take option A. Or you can take option B, which is you try to shoot the gap because you want to get a steal. You don't take option B. That's what happens, right? But look at, look at that. Look at the effort. Look at the effort. Look at him. That's a sense of urgency to get back to the shooter, closing out on the strong side with the right shot, also funneling him down into Balanchunas. Great effort defensively. He does it. But did you know that Stephen Curry, Jay Rose, mm. shoots 45, 45% on relocation threes? Look mm. at this. Look, look where Dylan Brooks is. He's focusing on the ball right here. Dylan Brooks, don't focus on the ball. Focus on where Stephen Curry is. Relocation three. This is when he's the most dangerous. If you don't, Boom, ball gets up, and look at the little, you're going to see the little flare screen right here by Draymond. He just knows what the deal is. John Morant's trying to get out the recover. You can't. Bam. That's the reason why Steph Curry had 46 points against Memphis last Sunday, because of perpetual motion. And God, man, he's just special to watch. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.